Thanks so much and shout out to Kelly Ripper. And thank you so much to NAMI NYC for this award and thank you for all of the work you do every day to end the stigma surrounding mental health and mental illness while providing critical resources to support all of those who are affected. The truth is, and I've said this many times before, that all of us are impacted by issues of mental health and pretending otherwise is not only hurtful on an individual level, but also to the broader cause. I've been clear in saying that I've been in therapy for about five years now. And when I was elected to this role, I wanted to end the silence and stigma and speak out to make a space for people who need help to seek it, especially for black, brown and immigrant communities where the stigma is even higher and where societal and cultural barriers make getting help very difficult. In that spirit, I wanna ask everyone here, how are you holding up? Now, it's a question too easy dismissed with a casual, I'm fine, I'm okay, nothing much, if you're only paying half attention. But now, more than ever, it's a critical question to ask each other, to ask ourselves, and to answer honestly. So, how are you holding up really? I'll go first. This is hard. It's trying. It's stressful. It's tiring. It's painful. The election, the pandemic, the constant loss of lives from communities who were sandwiched between street gun violence and police violence, whether it's on the news, on our social media feeds, or in our personal lives, we are seeing and feeling loss and pain on a daily, constant basis and on previously unimaginable scale. The mental and emotional exhaustion of these crises is taking a toll on many of our mental health around the city. It's definitely taking a toll on mine and we haven't even discussed the election yet. It's important to admit it and important to talk about it. So often we aren't able, seemingly aren't allowed to talk about it. And in communities like the ones I mentioned earlier, it's not just a feeling, it's a societal condition. It's not only that someone like myself, a black man, aren't supposed to show emotion, it's that we're not supposed to feel them at all. It's an unhealthy societal force, an unhealthy individual oppression. And right now, all of us across all races, gender, age, neighborhood, need to be focusing on what's healthy, physically and mentally. With groups like NAMI NYC, I want to continue to work to end the silence around mental health and mental illness and end the disparities in access to mental health services. Thank you so much for this award. And I'm going to end by saying I'm not okay. And it needs to be okay to say that. Peace and blessings to you all. Love and light.